Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again and today in this video I will show you how you can deploy and host our team project Atlas MD in Repelit platform. So some of you may know that in Repelit uh, no bot stays alive for more than 2 hours because uh, because Repelit policies it shuts down the bot after some times and not only for bots Repelit shut down everything after a certain amount of time so i will show you today that how you can uh, tweak that and how you can keep your bot and keep your websites and anything alive for uh, 24 7 and totally free okay you don't have to give a single penny so without wasting any time let's get started to the video so in this video there are three requirements that you must fulfill that you must have a github account and second thing is you must have a repellent account and third thing is you must have a uptime robot account all of these three links will be given in the description so you can go there and create these three accounts by wasting only one minute okay this will this three account can be created within three minutes okay so now what you have to do when you have to go to our bots official repo repo link will be given in the description and you have to click on this fork button okay so just fork it and click on this create fork so it will take around 2 seconds to create a fork ok so the fork is created and you have to just scroll down and you can see that there is a button called deploy on repelit so before clicking on it you must have repelit account already created ok so here you can see my repelit account so i can now create on this deploy on repelit button so just click on it and after click on it uh, repelit will start importing and you can choose between public and private i will suggest you to choose public and now just click on import from github just click on it now just wait for around 10 seconds it will start importing so here you can see the cloning process is completed and if i okay so here you can see all the files of bot has been cloned successfully so now what you have to do click on this .env.example file just click on it so inside of this .env.example file you can see that i have added all the examples of environment variables so now what you have to do uh, click on this secrets button ok you can see that there is a secrets button just click on it and now what you have to do just click on the key and paste in the keys and in the value you have to put the value ok so in the value i am putting my number here yeah, 91 is my country code and you can follow this manner to add multiple numbers as mod now click on the add new secret now copy mongodb paste the key and remember don't put any equal to ok in the keys don't put any equal to now i am putting the public url here in mongodb you can use your own mongodb url also if you have any i will suggest you to use your own and in the session id you can put any random string this will work as an otp so make sure you have noted it down so i am noted it i am noting it now in the prefix you can put everything you want and you can put slash hash etc but don't put add rate i am putting minus okay so you can ignore their pack name and author name these two has some default value so you don't have to use them okay so here you can see that i have added all the secrets inside now what you have to do is click on this run button okay just click on the run button now wait for some time because the will start installing your bot while it is installing our bot in uh, let me show you how you can follow the same process on the mobile platform so in the mobile platform after cloning the repo you might see something like this you have to click on this files option just click on it go to dot env dot example file and after going it uh, you can see that all the files are here that you have to put which you have to put inside environment variables or in secrets and now you have to go to the command section just tap on it here you can see the secrets option now from this section uh, from android you can go into the code section copy any values and you can uh, go to the command section and paste them the values okay 
by this manner uh, by this manner uh, you can add all the values from android if you are using an android device to host the bot okay let me come into my pc screen again and here you can see that bot is started giving qr so you can uh, let me scan the qr directly and i will also show you how you can scan through android also i am scanning it through pc first i am going to whatsapp going to link device now going to link a device i am scanning this qr through okay so here you can see bot is logging and bot is successfully logged in let's test the bot that whether it is working or not you can see bot has started working So let me test more commands. So here you can see that bot is totally working fine and I have scanned through PC. Now if you are using an Android device to host the bot, so how you can get the keyword to scan. So let me show you how you can get the keyword. Uh, in Android you have to go to first browser. Okay, just ignore this session because I have already connected it. And to get new keyword, you have to go to commands and in the session value, you have to change the session, okay? Just put any garbage value inside session and keep it copied. After copying it, tap on save, okay? I am saving. Now it is saved. Now go back to the console section and tap on this play button. Here you can see a green play button. Just tap on it and wait for some time. And you can see that in web section, the bots, uh, the bots page has been appeared. Now what you have to do is, you have to paste. You have to let me remove the old one. You have to paste that new session here. And after pasting here, you have to tap on the get QR button. Just tap on it. So here you can see that bots QR has been appeared. So what you have to do now is just take picture of this QR from another phone and scan from main phone from where you want to connect the bot. So after you successfully deployed your bot and connect your bot through whatsapp what you have to do is come back to repel it and you have to copy this link okay you have to copy this web view link and you have to go to uptime robot and i have asked you before to create an account so i am logging it with my account so here what you have to do is click on this add new monitor button now you have to save HTTPS and in friendly name you can put anything I am putting atlas bot and in URL you have to paste the repel link you can see ok so after putting it you have to uh, increase the interval into 5 minutes ok you can see I have increased it into 5 uncheck these two buttons and tick this one and after ticking this one you have to click on this create monitor button just click on it if you are using android to host your bot uh, you have to tap on this web section and after going to web section you have to copy this link and you have to paste it in uptime robot in the same manner that i have shown and your repellit app or your hosted bot or your hosted website and anything will never go to sleep mode again okay so every time uh, you deploy anything in repellit you have to come back here and you have to add this monitor and if you add this monitor what it will do it will ping your bot or ping your website after every five minutes so that your bot or your website will never go to sleep mode again okay so if you are watching until this end so thanks for watching this video and if you like my content please do subscribe my channel and that's all about today's video thank you